We were very fortunate to be in New York at a time when a lot of people had, I think, the, sort of the same idea. Bands like the Ramones and Television and Patti Smith and Blondie, but there weren't very many radio stations that would play the music. One exception to that was WLIR. You'd find stations in America that would play nothing but Stairway to Heaven all day. These 100,000 watt radio stations were taking away all the advertising dollars from, from little LIR. We had to do something, no question. I mean, we were screwed. <laughs> From the heart of Long Island, starting now. Now, this is the new 92.7 LIR. If you were to ask me which bands LIR broke in this country, that is a very long list. LIR was really my first contact with the American record scene. Everyone was in there making this radio, and it, it was incredible. You felt so at home when you walked in. Dennis McNamara at LIR had a real vision. I loved it, I lived it, I dressed it, I slept it. It wasn't just a radio station you put on, say, OK, I'm going to hear. People just lived it. Every generation of kids wants their own music. It doesn't mean they hate their parents, but they enjoy getting music to piss off their parents. 